Hey, Todd here. So I just picked up my Dragon Drink from Starbucks, headed back to the studio. We're gonna play around with the Zcam E2 F6 today, a camera I really love, but I don't use enough. So we're gonna uh, play around in the studio and shoot a little footage and see what I come up with. In the studio now, got the Zcam E2 F6 all rigged up, ready to roll here. And we're gonna start shooting my pinball machine, which I've had for years and I've always kind of wanted to do something with it. And since I haven't used the, the Z cam in a while, I thought this would be a great opportunity just to play around with it and get some cool shots and put this thing to use. I, I wish I used it more. I love this camera, but everything I kind of shoot right now anyway is a lot of run and gun and I need the autofocus of the C70 and the R5 that I use a ton with when I'm shooting. A lot of stuff, I, I shoot stills, then video, or video, then stills. A little bit of both on each project I'm working on recently, but I just haven't used this camera in a while, and I really want to get back to uh, using it because I really love it. So I'll do a little behind the scenes of what how I'm lighting this stuff with the NAND lights, and uh, Z-Log 2 is what I'm going to shoot with, and then we'll do a little grade to it, a little color, and uh, let's get shooting. For the first shot, I've got total darkness. Pinball machine's probably 20 feet away from the background. And I've got the Forza 60 on the floor, right in the middle of the back of the pinball machine. And it's creating a spot. I've got the uh, Fresnel zoomed all the way out. And that'll create the spotlight on the background behind the pinball machine to silhouette it. So it'll start out black, silhouette the pinball machine, and then I'll click on the pinball machine after that, and that's the first shot. That's what I have in my head, that's what we're gonna do. Next up, you can see here, I was using the uh, 100 millimeter macro to do some detail shots, and then the 50 millimeter 1-2 Canon, all Canon lenses and then my uh, 11 to 24 millimeter when I got down really low to get the pinballs flapping. And all again, this is all shot in Z-Log, which you can see here and a little behind the scenes as well of how I was lighting this thing with the NAN light kind of in the big soft box with the grid on it, kind of give an overall fill. And then I used the, the Pavo tubes, the 15 inch and the, the 12 inch using those for little accent lights in there which worked really good and uh, yeah so that was it i really love this uh, the z cam camera I, I i really need to use it more <laughs> than i than i do now but um in the future i'll use it. i'm not getting rid of it that's for sure now we'll take a quick look at the z log 2 file here and the first thing i do is i look at the the video scope over here and I make an adjustment layer. I'll turn this on, I've already done this. So I've got the color wheel open here. So I pulled the blacks down and I bumped up the highlights and it gave me some nice contrast that I like here. And then, then I'm gonna go in and use the um, Dehancer plugin right here, which I got on another adjustment layer. We'll turn that on. And so I've got that plug-in going right there. It will scroll down here and I've used the Kodak Gold 200 um, as the uh, profile, film profile I like for, for this one. And the only thing I've done on this is I've uh, backed off the grain. The grain was a little bit heavy for what they had it set to and I just backed that off to more of my liking. There's so many adjustments in this uh, plugin, this Dehancer Pro plugin that you can do. Vigne uh, just there's a ton of stuff. Uh, I really like it. And so working with this Z-Log2 file, it's uh, got 15 stops of dynamic range on this camera. So this file has a lot of, of uh, info and detail that you can get from it. And so it was just a basic little color change and blacks and the highlights so nothing major coloring wise on this thing and just putting on the um, the enhancer plug into it that's basically all I did to it so pretty simple there and uh, 
So let's take a quick look at uh, the final video for this on this pinball machine. So that was it. It was a fun little shoot. Finally did a thing, a shoot with my pinball machine, which I've had in here for years. There's a few lights out on it, but the thing still works really cool and the clients love playing it when they're in the studio here and we're doing a shoot or whatever. Um, yeah, that's it. And I hope you liked the little video. If you got any questions, comments, leave it below. And until next time, I'm out.